Welcome everybody, George Donnelly here uh, with another Bitcoin Cash site builder uh, interview uh, with Jan Buda of uh, Refund Investment. Uh, Jan, how are you doing today? Pretty fine. Uh, thanks a lot for having me with you, George. Excellent, excellent. It's my pleasure. So, Jan, for those of uh, uh, for those of the viewers who are not familiar with uh, your work in the BCH and SLP ecosystems and you know what you do uh can you give us uh, an overview tell us about yes, yourself um, um hello guys i uh, created refund token approximately one year ago on february 25th and uh, i did it because i realized that my that my pension uh yields started to decrease Probably if you are to, in your 20s or 30s, probably you don't care much about it. But when you are coming to my age, <laughs> uh, you are starting to observe it because we have approximately 20, 25, 30 years ahead. And I have seen that the, the, there have been negative uh, yields. And I have been doing, uh, in the year 2019, uh, a thorough analysis of world economy. And I concluded that we are uh, heading to a strong economic crisis. Uh, some people call it uh, in different ways recession. I call it even second great depression. So uh, unfortunately, this big crisis became uh, reality during 2020, 2021. And I told myself, if uh, some other people uh, manage your fund and they give you negative returns, why won't we bring solution to that uh, Thing. So I founded Refund Token. The, um, that part was interesting because the first we started with an investment of six dollars. One friend of mine, uh, instead of going and have a, her a dinner for six dollars, she decided, you know what? Uh, show me what you got. <laughs> and uh, we started, and we started in uh, with that. Uh, basically, the value of Refund Token is that uh, people. Uh, stake refund and people can get uh, staking rewards in the first year we had uh, bi-monthly Bitcoin cashback um, we are not paying our native tokens our refund tokens because we don't want uh, to increase inflation uh, of our RFND so we decided to pay them in Bitcoin cash and from uh, January of this year we started also to do Ethereum payouts and from uh, April 1st we are going to pay SPICE token. So people can choose whatever you prefer. If you prefer Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, SPICE, there is uh, there are different options for everybody. So far in the last year we have paid around 11.4 Bitcoin Cash in staking rewards. We have done a lot of uh, SLP airdrops and um, I'm pretty happy for all the report uh, that our team, our builders, our um, advisors, and also our community have been doing because we have done, we have achieved a lot, and I'm proud of all of them. That is basically a very cool. short, brief introduction. Okay, cool. So you created a, an SLP token on Bitcoin Cash, which is called RFND or Refund. Um, so what, what led you to do that? You know, how did you discover SLP? Why did you decide to, to build on Bitcoin cash? Uh, let me tell you, this was interesting. I discovered that option on memo.cash that you could create a free token. I haven't considered that. And I, I and I was just curious. And as there is one, uh, proverb that says that curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> 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 so the curiosity le led me to fa uh, to found refund token, and and uh, I think besides creating a token, there has to be some marketing proposal, some fundamentals. So that's what we have been working on, um, basically. Um, I found it. Uh, I found advantage in this SLP system. That as it is linked to Bitcoin Cash, it has very low transaction fees. So um, uh, that is advantage for us. Uh, two months later, uh, well, from the very beginning, I started to write articles about us. And people from Uptrendian community, which is ERC20 based community, 
um, which is a uptrend is a crypto social media. Uh, they started also to be interested and some of them became uh, important investors. So we realized that uh, refund uh, drove uh, an important inflow of uh, Ethereum based uh, uh, crypto holders from Ethereum community also to Bitcoin Cash community. Mm -hmm. So people have uh, when people uh, find different options, I think people also decide. I'm staying or not, etc. So I think everybody has like that free will. That's why we also opened uh, refund to staking in Ethereum. Mm -hmm. So that is basically that. So refund is a is a cross chain token essentially. Basically, we trade RFND in Bitcoin Cash and RFND in Ethereum pair. We trade it in. Uh, we have those trading pairs on Memo.cash on CCT. And uh, today I communicated an important update. There is one important uh, new exchange that is coming in Asia. Hmm. And um, we will uh, enter to that marketplace next Tuesday. So this is going to be our third marketplace. We are going to communi uh, communicate all the details on Sunday. Um, we will have some special also airdrops for the first people. So there are going to be cool things coming ahead. Basically. Cool, cool. But so is RFND only a token on the Bitcoin Cash uh, uh, blockchain or did, did you also create on another's or um, no thinking about it? No, so far RFND is only on uh, Bitcoin Cash chain. Mm -hmm. um, we have foreseen a possibility to create another token, but it would be until the second part of the year. Um, so uh, as an investment company, we want to diversify. So we want that uh, people have different options, basically. Uh, but uh, I think they, uh, people shall have always the freedom to choose what they prefer. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like uh, I uh, give options to people. It's like if you go to a breakfast buffet, what do you prefer? Pancakes uh, so, or eggs with sausage or tamales or whatever they whatever people so people have different options basically that's what we want for everybody and we want that uh, people feel that they are always in charge of their funds because this taking isn't 100 percent non-custodial and uh, the returns are going depending on the level uh, mm -hmm. where the people are so the idea behind rf and d token is that um you know what what's what's the concept in a few words you know that that you you invest something behind the scenes and then you pay the returns back yeah. or, uh, as, or the, as the same uh, name of this token says it is a refund is like a cashback so people are going to be delivered cashbacks they can decide with bitcoin cash with ethereum with spice they can decide whatever they want uh they can hold the token if they, were, if they need to sell, they can, of course, uh, exit from the uh, staking, they can sell the token. So people have different options, in my opinion. So people decide. We don't want to force people to 10-year staking or uh, something like that or create special platforms. I, 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 we want that people take uh, are in charge in, uh, of their funds in their own SLP wallet. And that's where they are going to receive also their, uh, the returns. That is basically okay. So, yeah, you said that you had paid back um, like 13 BCH. Approximately uh, uh, 11.4. Okay, 11.4 BCH to RFND token holders. Where does that, where do those 13 BCH come from, or 11 BCH come from? Uh, they come from trading, from trading activities. Oh, okay. And uh, basically, if we sell refund from the, be from the beginning, we... Uh, we were getting that uh, Bitcoin cash and we invested that. We have also had important uh, expenditures in the last month because uh, everything that implies creation of the staking up of uh, exchange listings, so everything is expensive. So that also has been an um, important uh, part of refund. Also, cool. So you mentioned uh, low fees on Bitcoin Cash is something that you know made it, um, you know, made it attractive for you to build your token project, you know, with a simple ledger protocol tech. Exactly, um, because uh, especially when you see people from Ethereum community, 
Um, when they have, uh, for example, yesterday I had to transfer Ethereum. I had to transfer 0 0.04 Ethereum, which is around, I don't know, $65 or, um, or something like that. So, and you have to pay $5. So if you are transferring small amounts of that, that, uh, that is extremely, um, that, is, that is extremely expensive mm -hmm. in terms of fees. Yeah. So I think that if you have a, if you are holding Ethereum or ERC20 tokens, to be it convenient, you should be doing uh, operations about five hundred dollars, in my opinion, in order mm -hmm. to because the the fees should not be overpassing two to three percent of your capital. That's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And so, besides the low fees, the, are there any other features or characteristics of uh, BCH? that have uh, facilitated a uh, refund token or added value or made things easier for you? Uh, I think that also what I have to appreciate from the beginning, we have started to work together with other SLP tokens. Uh, for example, with Sweet Token, Arnew, Han, Zapit, and uh, in a some, uh, or Spice Token, uh, sorry if I forgot some, uh, Bent Token. So if, uh, uh, I think that we have been uh, trying to develop mutual collaboration with other SLP tokens. So uh, we are promoting our community in their communities and we are also promoting their token in our community. So this is the, uh, we wanted to have those uh, special airdrops or mutual campaigns, uh, faucets that has been doing, for example, the, our new creator. Uh, we are uh, working on on all of this, uh, so we work together. I think this is there is something extremely important in Bitcoin Cash community. We need to work more together and support each other. Okay. So you mentioned a staking app. So exactly. our RFND has a staking app, but you know, I guess it's not on chain. Can you give us the details of how that works precisely? It's a very simple thing. It's not that highly technologically advanced. I'm going to explain it very quickly. People have to basically enter to FEX. They have to agree uh, terms and conditions. They have to subscribe their mail. They have to verify. They have to enter their simple ledger address, and they have to put. Uh, they have to input a receiving address. The receiving address in Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, or Spice, whatever they qualify. If they have two million refund, they can go for Spice staking. If they have five million refund, they can go for BCH, and if they have forty million. They can go for Ethereum. So basically, that is basically that we uh, we collect that data under strict uh, procedures of privacy, and uh, based on that, on our spreadsheets, we calculate the returns. Now there is something that uh, I want to explain regarding to returns. The returns are depending on the on the level, on the amount of people uh, of tokens that people hold, and it goes from interval minus forty to plus forty. So we have, for example, I'm going to explain you, for example, if we have uh, um, a holder who is a gold holder who has over 75 million RFND, so he gets uh, his monthly rate of 2.22%. But if refund decreases versus BCH, uh, that, uh, that uh, rate category can go also down up to... Uh, by 40%, that would be like 0.85%. Uh, uh, it would go like to 1.40%. If uh, refund appreciates versus BCH, that rate can go to 3%. So that is basically uh, in that interval. It is explained in our videos, in our articles. And uh, these percentual returns are uh, increasing according to the level of each holder. So that is basically the way that we handle it so far now. Of course, we want to improve it on the long run. We want to have PEX uh, uh, 2.0. So uh, all of it is going to be also improved in the following months. So FEX is the name of your, your staking app or what is yeah. that? Oh, the, the, okay. the, uh, it's called Fair Exchange App. Oh, okay, okay. And so um, what about the dividend calculator? Has that uh, been of any use to you? Uh, we calculate it basically on the, per each holder, it's a customized calculation. 
So it depends on the average monthly price and the initial staking price, uh, and it depends on the day when the holder entered. So that, that is, it's a little bit complicated process. Uh, therefore, we have to do it uh, manually per each um, per each holder. Now, this is this is like the basic thing that we do in refund. Um, we also forecast. Uh, well, we also want to launch a new utility feature in the second part of the year, probably between September and December. We want to create e-commerce portal uh, where people could buy. Uh, digital products or digital services, and um, and they would receive refund as a loyalty token. Like like if you have a, a credit card and you receive the points. If you mm -hmm. uh, if you buy one hundred dollars, they give you one dollar in the points. So this is some, this is the idea basically behind it. So uh, I know, I realized when you, for example, want to pay for some. Um, services, uh, for example, in other countries, uh, using fiat, it's extremely expensive or it's complicated and uh, you have to go through bank and, and all that stuff. And with Bitcoin Cash, it's very easy or with SLP token. So you can, uh, I think that could be also answering that need. I see. So what, what vision do you have for the RFND token going forward into the future, say for the next, you know, one, three or five years? Uh, well, our vision is always that people feel free. Uh, we want to become all, we, we always claim for the basic value, which is 100% neutrality. Uh, a refund is a neutral ground. Uh, um, we accept every token. We want to go on the bigger exchanges. And of course, we want to grow this project as much as we can. And, um, Basically, we want to uh, keep on going with a stable uh, increasing income for our holders on the long run. There are going to be also other features in, on, in the future that we can develop. So that is basically, that is basically the idea. Mm -hmm. So is, is the value proposition for the buyer that it's kind of like a, a pension or an investment plan? Uh, uh, that's, that's not censorable or, or how do you sell that? Uh, basically, uh, it depends uh, that you have uh, long term uh, residual income. OK, so no matter if you work uh, in your business, you can have your refunds and you can be receiving uh, your Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum. OK, and, be, and, I, and uh, I find it uh, uh, very attractive in the way because if people, for example, receive these rewards, they can they can do whatever they want with it. They can use it for their needs. They can buy more refund. They can uh, use it for trading. So people decide what to do, they, uh, depending on every depending on every holder, basically. Mm -hmm. So that is the proposition. Uh, we want to that people feel free every moment uh, regarding to the use of the. Of that, and uh, uh, as I have seen also the pandemic, uh, this is something that has completely changed the way of living of of many citizens on planet. I think that e-commerce is playing much more important uh, role. So I think that uh, this is going to be the second stage of uh, refund development, basically. E-commerce. E-commerce. Huh. In what way? Sorry? In what way? What do you mean? Like uh, people will be able to spend their refund tokens? Yeah. Uh, for example, you uh, want to sell your course. Okay. I was checking a few months ago. Uh, if you subscribe to one site that is called Udemy, mm -hmm. uh, it's very cool, but they take 50% of your of your fee. So this is something I, I find it really high. So let's yeah. suppose that, George, you earn $100 and you have to give them $50. And uh, if we create this uh, e-commerce site, people will be having only, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you for an example in the complete numbers. For example, you sell your service for, uh, for one Bitcoin cash, we keep uh, 4% and the customer gets one or 2% in refund. 
So that is basically the, the, way, the additional way of rewarding users because I think that in e-commerce, in uh, supermarkets, uh, people are looking for bargains. Be uh, people are looking for additional incentives for loyalty rewards. So uh, I think that we should be giving uh, appropriate uh, answer for that need as well. Okay, interesting, interesting. So what what's the total supply of uh of refund um you know is it is it fixed is it limited are there token burns uh how much has been reserved for the team you know that kind, uh, of, that course, kind of information i'm going to explain that is a very interesting question we have around uh the total circulating supply we started with 99.99 billion of token last june we burned 10 billion of tokens so at this moment, the total monetary supply is 89.96 billion of tokens. You can always check this data on simpleledger.info. You will have those details for every token. Uh, that is a limited supply. We are not planning to burn, but we have decided for a mechanism of gradual, uh, of 5.5 decades of gradual circulating supply issuance. I'm going to explain. The last refund, according to that plan, is going to be uh, issued by the year 2076. Hmm. That is very interesting because we have maximum limits per each year. For example, we have issued so far in the year 2020 and in the year 2021, the maximum supply we can issue is only 10%. So we are, uh, at this moment, we have issued around 5 billion of tokens. For the rest year of, of the year, we can issue only 2.5 uh, billion tokens for sale and the rest for the needs of the team. Uh, for the team expenditures, we have uh, reserved 16% of the total supply. Mm -hmm. And uh, we cannot overpass these limits because we cannot over flat market with refund. Mm. So we have also, as uh, a lot of SLP tokens have uh, had in the last two months, we have to recognize it completely, uh, have like the bearish trend um, for whatever reason. Uh, we are decided uh, we have decided that refund is going to be used basically for um, that investors buy it for staking or if they want to buy low and sell higher that every investor can decide that's another option and uh, all these uh, tokens for tipping marketing activities we would like to use other tokens so that is basically we want to keep refund for what refund is destined that mm -hmm. is basically the idea of our token and this circulating supply is going to be issued step by step. There is no rush. Fifty-five years, fifty-four years. Hmm. We don't have to. We don't have to run. I think uh, sometimes it's better to do things step by step, slowly. Um, a lot of people want uh, told us, uh, "Let's uh, let's do some burning," but I don't find burning as uh, the best. Um, how would I say it? as the best solution for tokens. It can help tokens usually on the short run, but it doesn't solve any tokens tokenomics. Mm -hmm. It can, for example, uh, increase your token by 100 or 1000%, but maybe in, in one week, in one month, and then the token will have to go according to the market trend. So mm -hmm. uh, I think it should be increased according to that. And also another thing that we are going to play with are going to be the interest rates mm -hmm. and they are going to be uh, changing according to the market situation so this is something that we will also be using cool so let's say that there is someone who wants to uh, start a new token project uh, you know on slp on bitcoin cash what advice do you have uh for a new builder uh, what are the pitfalls you know what 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 are some tricks or tips that you have? Oh, that's a very interesting question. I think it's not only about the token itself. There should be always, uh, if you are, for example, I, I know that there are different platforms. So I always recommend that uh, they have a website because when you create tokens, you need to put there uh, the amount of tokens, the digits. For example, Refund has only four decimal places. Um, the ticker, the name of the token, and there should be also the website. Even if you haven't built it, at least you should buy the domain. Now, um, I think besides that, you should have clear what is the concept. 
of the token. Mm -hmm. Where are you heading? Okay, so it's like uh, it's like like the basic part of marketing. Um, what is your product? What is your service? How you are going to do your strategies? I think that people shall be asking these questions always. Hmm. It's not only create token for token, you know. It's this is like important thing. Yeah, definitely. So I ask everybody this question, you know, how, um, how do you think Bitcoin Cash, uh, the ecosystem can, can do things better, can be better? You know, what, what opportunities for improvement uh, exist, especially ones that you've noted, you know, working uh, in the SLP ecosystem? I think that it's important. Uh, uh, well, I personally think that uh, Bitcoin Cash has been focused a lot on the merchant mass adoption. And definitely it uh, serves to that purpose and it's very good for customers. But I also think that the Bitcoin Cash team probably should uh, review if these uh, low fees, if they are beneficial for the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. Not, we should not be only thinking only on, on customers, we should be all, also thinking in the same company. So. That would be important and also to think if there are some mechanism where Bitcoin Cash would not be used only as a cash, but as a, also a little bit as a store of value, like to have a little bit of both of them, mm -hmm. something that would also help to that, basically. I think that it's a very good project. Um, and basically, there are a lot of new marketplaces where Bitcoin Cash, for example, could be could be used, uh, could be launched. I think that people still in many countries, they don't know still, believe it or not, maybe some people, uh, when I ask here, uh, average people about cryptocurrencies, people don't know it. Most of the people don't know it. And some people, they just, and some people just identify the word Bitcoin, but they don't know more. And, mm. uh, and I think that this uh, awareness starts to grow, especially in the younger generations. But I think cryptocurrency should not be only for only young people. It should be all for all the ages, basically. Well, mm. this is going to always depend on on the degree of risk, uh, aversion, and all that stuff. Right, right. Okay, and uh, where can people buy RFND token? Uh, people can buy it on memo.cash. There, there is only once... Uh, one uh, way that they can buy this is only they can buy sales order and they can also buy it at this moment on cc tip uh, that's instant swap uh, people can it goes according to the market exchange rate people can buy it in rfnd vch trading pair or rfnd ethereum mm -hmm. now um, there is something important uh, for people to know if you uh, convert uh, any coins in for Ethereum on the on CCTIP, you have to be careful with the withdrawal fees because they are around 0.02 or 0.03 Ethereum. It depends on every day. So um, Bitcoin Cash, for example, withdrawals are free at this moment. So this is something mm. that uh, it's important to consider, in my opinion. Cool. Yeah, and CCTIP uh, swap only recently integrated Bitcoin Cash as a base currency there. So that, exactly. that, that, I mean, what opportunities is that opening up for SLP token projects? So people can open, SLP projects can list uh, any coin. You need basically to have at least $1 liquidity. So that liquidity means 50% of your token and 50% of Bitcoin Cash or Refa or 50% of Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum or Doge or USDT or Tron, whatever you prefer. Uh, we used to have like five, we still have the other pairs, but we focus now only on two, on ETH, on ETH and on BCH. And if you want to have your logo, I think they require you $50. Now, uh, I want to tell you something that uh, the other exchange that is coming, um, we are going to inform about it on Sunday. That exchange is going to be built, uh, is already built on in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And it will start, and refund is going to start uh, being traded on, from Tuesday on awesome. next week. So I think that this is answering the needs of the SLP community to have more marketplaces and more infrastructure for the exchange.
So this is something important for every token so that people feel that there is enough liquidity that they can change by uh, sell their tokens. So this is something important. So we're, and of course, we're... Every, sorry, and, uh, and, every to and, and every marketplace has its own rules. So that is also important to know. Hmm. So this new exchange in Asia, where will people be able to find this? Because this episode will probably come out uh, early next week. We are going to inform it on uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to write an article. We are going to tweet it on RF, uh, RFND token on uh, Twitter. We are going to write an article about it on Redat Cash and Uptrend. So we are going to promote it. And uh, so far, what I can tell you is that other uh, two SLP tokens are going to be listed very soon there. And uh, there is going to be, of course, trading between Bitcoin Cash and, and, and another stable coin. So it looks pretty promising. Um, other projects, other exchange uh, other exchanges for Bitcoin Cash are also coming ahead. Um, there are also important exchanges such as CoinFlex, CoinEx, which are having this uh, uh, BCH uh, trading, for example, or uh, I think, for example, on CoinEx you have Spice so, or Bitcoin.com. So you have different options. Uh, I think it's just getting started, but uh, we definitely want to be listed in different marketplaces that we consider convenient for us. Cool, cool. Okay. Well, this has been a really interesting conversation, Jan. Uh, do you want to tell people where they can? You mentioned uh, you're on uh, Twitter at RFND Token, but where else can people uh, find oh. information about the project? And, you know, feel free to share any final thoughts. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, they can find information also on our webpage that is called rfndinvestment.com. Uh, you can, uh, they can. Uh, also subscribe to RFND group uh, on Telegram. We have there also RFND news. Um, and we have also our social media on Redat Cash and Uptrend. So we are publishing different updates, different articles. And we also do, for example, on Telegrams, our team members, they are uh, doing often trivias, uh, other engaging um, tasks, competitions, community. Uh, so we want basically that people feel uh, I don't want that people uh, people feel in Riffan that it's all like a bank, like that's like a very tight uh, company. We want that uh, we want to answer the needs of the young generation, and but we want to also in a certain way uh, educate them. Uh, just like uh, an example, if you for many people who come from Ethereum community, maybe for us it's a, a bread of every day. But people, for example, get confused about Bitcoin Cash Satoshi. They don't know what is 1 million Satoshi. They think it's probably 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 BCH. So like these kind of things that people start to understand uh, the system. Now, I basically think that uh, something that is very important in general, the market is coming through different changes, um, especially from last week, there have been also important bearish moves from Bitcoin. So I think uh, what I would recommend to every person, uh, do your own research. And, a check, uh, and you can check also the market, uh, the experts point of views. But sometimes I found even in the best traders that sometimes they can be confusing because one says one thing, another says another thing. <laughs> it's like now this classical discussion. Are we entering the bear market or is it only short, uh, short bump? So people have like different opinion. And I think that the best thing is that people should be creating their own uh, point of view. Uh, people should be uh, having their own point of view. And there is also something important in trading and in whatever you do. You can always do the best technical or fundamental analysis. But there are always probabilities and i think that in cryptocurrency it goes between 30 to 50 percent that the market can go against you so this is important that people should know uh, like uh, i think it would be very responsible if some uh, token owners or some uh, companies they say buy it now because the price is going up you never know because it can go up but in two hours it can go um, 30 percent down and in one month 90 percent down so this is something that we have to be extremely careful and uh, 
I think people should be getting informed. Uh, there are also some courses on one Forex uh, uh, site that is called XM.com. They are for free. Nobody has to trade there or buy any um, risky investment, but they can educate with their free webinars. So I would always recommend that people inform themselves and they investigate a little bit more. That is basically my, my um, suggestion and um, my advice. Okay, great. All right. Well, Jan Buda of uh, RFND token. Uh, really interesting conversation about uh, SLP tokens of Bitcoin Cash. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, let's keep building Bitcoin Cash. Thanks a lot and uh, uh, good luck and great vibes to all Bitcoin Cash uh, supporters and uh, this great uh, and wonderful SLP community. So here we go and we keep on building. 100%. Thanks a lot.